all right iphone 14's launch was done even though iphone 14 was a little disappointing it's still over now and it's time for us to get ready for the apple's october event and we are expecting apple to launch ipads in this event and in this video we will mainly focus on the entry level ipad is it a worthy update should you wait for the launch or should you just buy the existing ipad already because colleges have already started and mainly people who use ipads are either students who use it for note taking or creative individuals who use it for their creative workflow so what are the things that we know and i hope this video will help you make a better decision so without wasting any more time let's get started the major update is when it comes to design the design was leaked by a website called mysmartprice.com if i'm not wrong curved style the 9th gen ipad had is removed it's more flat and the back looks like an ipad air which looks um, so much more premium if you ask me and the camera module is of the iphone 10 the front remains the same with thicker bezels and that home button so if you are someone who loves the home button it's still there it is slimmer when compared with the last year's ipad and also the screen is exactly same when compared to 2019 ipad air and i'm pretty sure that i apple is making use of the old hardware on these new ipads the another major update that you are getting here is type c cable support this not only increases the file transfer speed and the multi connectivity it also lets you use your ipad as a dual monitor and it also use lets you use usb hubs so this is a major upgrade and also you just need one cable for all your devices it can't get more convenient than that the ipads will also now support 5g but taken into consideration that this is only applicable if you buy the more expensive cellular model and of course there is a performance update the a14 bionic chip will be used in the 10 gen ipad when, when compared to the a13 bionic chip in the older 9th generation this is going to be a major performance boost and also they will definitely come out with 4 gb of internal ram because a14 bionic chip has always come out with minimum 4 gb of ram so i'm pretty sure the ipad will now have 4 gb of for inbuilt ram this in comparison to the 3 gb in the 9th gen ipad it's definitely going to be a good update and we will definitely see a lot of performance boost in this ipad and also this ipad with the flatter design and removal of the lightning port will definitely only support the apple pencil generation 2 which will add to the overall cost of the ipad because the generation 2 apple pencil is a bit more costlier when compared to the generation 1 and the ipad itself might also be a little costlier because apple has done a complete redesign here and increased performance increased ram and the a14 bionic chip everything together might lead to ipad being a little more costlier than previous model and so now for the question should you wait for the new ipad or should you just upgrade well i'm not really sure about what display hardware we will be getting how much hertz or what other updates uh, detailed updates we are getting in the new ipad but if you are someone who really needs an ipad i would suggest that you wait for the apple event because even if you don't like the newly launched ipad or even if it does not fit your budget you can still go back and buy the previous version but there is no harm in waiting the update might be worth it for the design factor because i'm pretty sure this ipad looks a lot premium than the 9th gen ipad so if you are someone who wants to use this for college i would suggest you wait for the apple launch and see if it works for you even if the ipad does not suit your preferences or even if you don't like the newly launched ipad the older models price might get reduced especially in the second hand market the price will get reduced when once the new ipad is launched so there's no harm in waiting just a month more from now so that was it about the entry level ipad that's going to be launched and that's all we know as if now if i get any more information i'll make sure i'll do a video on it as soon as possible and that's it for this video if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to look at more of these videos i'll see you in the next one until then peace